well, was supposed to go to work today. No work. The world's gone crazy. It's been a while since I posted a video. I hate it when people say that. Today I'm going back to the farm to change the batteries on the golf cart, farm cart. Batteries are gonna be $106 a piece, about $700 to change the batteries in a golf cart. Keep that in mind when you're looking at golf carts. A lot of them for sale are cheap. They just need batteries. Just remember batteries are 1500% of the golf cart price. Need six eight volt batteries. I'm gonna get them at Sam's Club. If you're anywhere near Martinsville, Virginia, you can pick up batteries cheaper. Ecartparts.com. Also check out his YouTube. I'll put it on the screen. Can't remember the name. Hello YouTube. Can't stand that. Don't forget to subscribe. It costs you nothing. Thank you. Better get a little something, something for me. Yes. Thank you. So this cart had six batteries. Two of the batteries tested less than eight volts. This battery right here on the left front, this battery right here on the left center. All the rest tested over eight volts. So they're probably still good. We could just replace these two, but we're gonna replace them all. This cart gets used a lot and I don't wanna have to come back in a month and nickel and dime this thing. We're gonna do them all at once, save the other batteries. I've made a diagram of my battery layout along with the cables where they go. Wrote it out on a piece of paper so I know exactly how they go back. I know which ends connect to the cart. This is the positive to the cart and this is the negative to the cart. Our total amount of voltage is 43 when this is a 48 volt golf cart. Our protection and protection half inch. Start by taking the negative off. Start by turning the card off. Then the positive. Quite a bit of corrosion on this one. It's actually broken the top terminal on the positive side. I hope they're not corroded on. Dude, it's on there. A little sandpaper, try to fix that right up. Mm, that's sketchy. This one is a little thin. There's a cow out. Oh boy. Let's see if we can go find this thing.
Where were we? All cows safe back in the fence. This one is the one that's thin. This side is thicker. This side is thin. Can easily bend it. Let's me know that that's the one that's been eaten away. This end is broken. So we need two cables. This is an aluminum frame. So no matter how old it is, there is corrosion, but there's no rust. It's still solid. And this thing has been beat up. Example, about some corrosion. This is the top of one of the battery straps. Here's another good one. My plan is to find the replacements for these and put them on later. The batteries will be okay without straps on them for a little bit. I mean, none of these straps are secured anyway, and these batteries are just fine. Just wanna be sure we have them strapped down in case the kids go riding it and turn it over. Positives towards this side. Got two new wires to replace the wires that were bad. These are longer, but they'll do. Got my diagram. I'm gonna leave the terminals to the cart off. I'm gonna connect all the batteries first. So start here, negative. So we're gonna jump positive to negative. So we're gonna leave the big cap on and just take the small cap off. keeps that terminal protected. So then we go positive to negative. Then we go positive to negative. Positive. All right, so the batteries are all connected together. Now we have to connect the cart to the series of batteries. And so this one has two cables that run, I think the ignition or something like that, maybe the lights, and then this goes to the motor. Clean these up just a little bit. Well, it's better than it was. That's the positive. Go over and connect the negative. Tighten all these down. I have no idea what the torque is, but maybe a hair over snug. Also being aware that my wrench doesn't hit anything metal. Fifty one. So eight more volts than you had this morning. How's it, how's it run?
Did you pop a wheelie? Yeah.